Hi Internet. So today this video will be without a smile. Today is the National Israeli Holocaust Memorial Day. And I want to talk to you about it. I, I thought a lot about one of what I want to say. And I realize I have too many things to say to put in a video. So I will take it to one part. I will talk about heroism. In Israel, the Memorial Day isn't just for the Holocaust. It's the Holocaust and the heroism. And when I was young, I, I used to ask myself, why is this day the, the Memorial Day? Because it was a war that lasted like five years. So how did they pick that day? So the alarm caught me. This, uh, this was the two minute alarm. Um, I will go back to what I tried to say. Um, for years I tried to figure out why they choose this day. And then I found out today is the day of the rebellion in the Warsaw Ghetto. And for me of course they had to pick some day, but maybe I would go for the day of that end the war. I think it was, no, I don't know the day. But anyway, it means something because it means that the fight is what matters because We cherish those who who died for a purpose, and not those who died just because. Not those who died just because they were Jews, or they were mentally ill, or um, handicapped, or uh, LGBT, or anything like that. No, they just died. But those who were heroes, they died with a pe purpose. So for me, it's really problematic because after a few years, um, Israel started to portray all the people who died in the Holocaust as um, saints. There are actually streets called saint, saints of the Holocaust. And like everyone is a saint and a hero and he died for a purpose even little children and and women and men and families and all people they portray them now as heroes and i don't like the heroism factor of it because i don't believe in heroism in my point of view heroism is the opposite of life, um, is opposite of trying to survive and I think many people, most of the people who died d during those years just wanted to survive and when they died I don't think they thought oh our death now will mean something. I think they thought exactly the opposite. I'm sure they thought exactly the opposite and this is the truth. Um, when we die, even in a war, our death mean, means nothing. Usually we're just little players in someone else's plan. And of course I don't mean God's plan. I don't mean the big plan of God. I mean the big plan of men who want to show each other who, who's got the biggest and this is why we die at war, not because we're heroes, not because we sacrifice ourselves. 
and I remember a few years ago I was in the Holocaust Museum and they told us that, that there was new, a new show on the museum and, um, that shows drawing and letters and diaries and they said there was a huge argument of the side from the side of the of the real heroes of those who do fight in in the rebellions because this place um, was built by people who was in the rebellion so they said this is not heroism and the museum said of course this is heroism because they survived they try to leave something behind them and this is heroism and for me it raises a lot of questions why do we need to think of people as heroes why do we need to give um, reason for their death I think we're just trying to rational things so it won't it wouldn't be that bad as we know it is because we know that millions of people died just because of who they were we know millions and millions of people just died because of the people they were of how they born and what they believed in and I guess it's too hard to understand that so we give reason we say they were heroes but I don't think so I don't think we need to talk about heroes um, we just need to remember the ones who died for no reason and the fact that today we have a country and we can live here it doesn't make the, their death worth worth worthy, and many of them, I mean all of them, <laughs> were never asked, "Do you want to die f for this country?" So it doesn't make them heroes. It makes them people who try to survive and didn't survive, and this is it. This is the Holocaust, in my opinion. It's people ordinary people, no heroes, no saints, it's people and, and families and, and lovers and friends that, that died in, in really, really horrible, horrible ways.